We've been talking about velocity, but in real life, you've probably heard speed referred to more than velocity. For example, the speed limit of this freeway is 65 miles per hour. Or, hey, how fast are you going? What's your speed? Well, the fact is that velocity and speed are closely related. Before, we talked about velocity having a direction involved. Speed does not involve a direction. So, for example, consider the following velocity graph. The velocity increases, remains constant at 5 at time t equals 2. At time t equals 6, the velocity then decreases. We have zero velocity at time t equals 7. And then decreases even more, and we have negative velocity at time t equals 9, and it's constant at velocity equals negative 7 up until time 12, when the velocity increases again and becomes 0. Now, what does it mean to have negative velocity? Well, negative velocity means that you are moving in the negative direction. So what happened here was you were moving in the positive direction, to the right or up, since we're in one variable, and then we had zero velocity, so we stopped. And then, when our velocity became negative, we started moving in the opposite direction, in the negative direction. That's what a negative velocity means. So one question that we can ask is, what would speed look like? if we were to graph the equation for speed. Well, speed, it should be noted, is the absolute value of velocity. Velocity gives us direction, and the way that it gives us direction is whether it's positive or whether it's negative. Above the x-axis here, because this is the graph of velocity, our velocity is positive. However, below the x-axis, our velocity is negative. And so it's at this moment below the x-axis, these moments down here, when we are moving in the negative direction. So I could say that when I drive to school, I drive in a straight line. And when I drive to school, I'm going in the positive direction. And then when I drive home, I'm driving in the negative direction. So I drive the speed limit 65 miles per hour on the freeway and when I drive to school I'm driving at a velocity of 65 miles per hour however when I drive home I'm driving at velocity negative 65 miles per hour because I'm going in the negative direction however my speed going home is still positive 65 because speed does not include the fact that you might be going in a positive or a negative direction. So, what we do is we make the absolute value of velocity equal to speed. It's velocity without direction. So down here, we have negative velocity. Above the, ab the x-axis, our velocity is not going to change if we take the absolute value of this. For example, the absolute value of 5, still 5. The absolute value of 0, still 0. This isn't going to change. However, if you wanted to graph speed, and we'll graph speed with a green line now, it would remain the same there. It would remain the same along here. And it would remain the same there. However, after time t equals 7, when our velocity becomes negative, Speed is the absolute value of velocity. So everything there gets flipped about the x-axis. And this is what the speed would look like right here. So for example, the speed at time t equals 9 is positive 7. The speed at time t equals uh, 10 is still positive 7. However, the velocity at time t equals 10 is negative 7. And that's the difference between velocity and speed. Speed is the absolute value of velocity.
Let's do an example of a problem. Given the position function, negative 32t squared plus 5t minus 8, let's find the velocity at time t equals 1, and then we'll find the speed at time t equals 1. Well, velocity is the derivative of position. So our velocity function is given by negative 64t plus 5. Which means that the velocity at time t equals 1, plug 1 into here, we get negative 64 plus 5 is negative 59. Now let's find the speed at time t equals 1. Speed is equal to the absolute value of velocity. And the absolute value of velocity at time 1 is positive 59. So while our velocity at time t equals 1 is negative 59, because we're going in the negative direction, our speed is positive 59 because speed is just the absolute value of velocity. And that's all there is to it.